glad you look so inconspicuous. In my line of work, it's important that I blend in with the masses. Sure, sure. Heard you have some intel for me. In Noonan, Georgia, there's a Lego reseller, the Atlanta Brick Co. They claim to be the largest building brick toy store in the entire world. And they could be. But here's the rub. They post a Lego haul video every Monday. Plus, they occasionally post larger hauls during the week. I ask you, how is that possible? So you want me to check it out, see if it's for real? I want you to check it out, see if it's for real see real Your mission, should you choose to accept it, and I highly suggest you do, given the boat you just purchased, is to infiltrate the Atlanta Brick Co. Document evidence of these halls and report back. Got it. I and this message will self-destruct in three seconds. Wait, I and? Ah! Dun 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 Hello guys, hope you're having an excellent day today. Today is Monday and we've got another haul video for you guys to watch. We had a super busy weekend, so much stuff was traded into us. I think a lot of people were off from school and work. So we have a ton of photogenic sets here laid out on the table. So we'll be diving into these in just a moment here. And we also have some stuff on the back table. And there's even a clip from Friday that we wanted to show you guys, just some of the built sets that we had going out. But let's dive into this Sopwith Camel here. This is a pretty cool set. I think we've seen this a couple times in the store before, but I've never seen it in the box. And uh, the set is in there, and it seems like it's complete with the instructions. So we'll have somebody inventory this and get it out soon. Um, the box is in great shape, except for a few little scuffs here at the top. So that's really fun to see. It's a pretty old set as well. That's the er earlier version of that uh, type of plane. There's a dark green version that's a little newer as well. You've also got Knight's Kingdom 2 over here in the corner of the table. This was a very nostalgic theme for me, one of my first castle sets, where among these big buildable figures, these really colorful, wacky looking knights, they're really fun. And they're very hard to find, especially with the original boxes, so it's really cool. We'll be uh, putting those up for sale shortly as well. And here we've got a pretty big Bionicle collection, and they're all in really good shape. You've got them... Uh, some of them are bagged up, some of them are in the original canisters here, and uh, they are all really, really fun because uh, Bionicle is getting increasingly rare as time goes on, and they're, um, you know, g gaining popularity and collectability. So getting all these in their original containers, they look so cool. I mean, <laughs> I remember these spider guys, these Visorox, when I was a kid, and I wanted to collect them, so seeing them now is like, wow, super tempting. So there's a whole bunch of them from the second wave on up we've got some from the underwater themes those are some of my favorite as well so very cool bionicle sets that guy's awesome some of these are kind of limited edition too so you got the big uh, original makuta over here and i think that's all in the box let's see if we can even yep there are some of the pieces and the instructions in there so we should be able to complete these and get them out soon so you see our bionicle case get restocked a little bit that'll be nice this guy was pretty cool too. I think Justin actually did a video on this very set a long time ago on our channel. So if you want to see him kind of go into the details of it, it would be pretty fun. And um, with this uh, Bionicle collection, I think they also had some really cool Star Wars sets. So some older Star Wars sets, Imperial Landing Craft with the old Stormtroopers. Um, we have the TIE Fighter and Y-Wing. That's a really cool set. It's got the original trilogy edition sticker on there or um box art i should say the old x-wing fighter and um little <laughs> old yoda's hut over there no old luke some of those figures are becoming very um collectible and expensive so we're really really excited to get these in we could put them up for sale and the boxes are in really good shape they still got that shine on them i mean they're just they, like like this uh, rogue shadow just looks absolutely majestic so we will be getting these, I'm guessing, inventoried and put out for sale just because the boxes are in such great shape. And the sets and figures all seem to be in there. We'll have to double check to make sure. But something very exciting coming up for our inventory here in Atlanta Brickco.
We also got a bag full of power functions, battery packs, and IR receivers, the infrared receivers. And we got a few of the controllers here as well. So we'll be um, making sure these all work. We'll be testing the, the functionality, make sure this, the batteries is still work. They're not shorted out or anything. We'll put, be putting those out for sale pretty soon. They are pretty expensive now, so they're very collectible. So um, they're not gonna be very cheap anymore. All right, here is a quick clip from Friday. We've got a bunch of cool stuff on the table, but we're about to put it out. So I wanted to share it with you guys before it went out for sale so you know what's going to be on the store shelves very shortly. We've got an awesome Ninjago dojo over here. Doesn't look like it has any figures, but it has a bunch of weapons. Very cool building. Very neat. Um, you've got the Nexonite Fortrex, as well as a bunch of Nexonite vehicles, both bad guys and good over here. There's more on the end of the table as well, so we'll go over there and check them out in just a moment. We've got some DC stuff here. We've got a bat boat. We've got the um, bat cave back here. I think that's the one from the Lego Batman movie, but I'm not sure. You've got uh, Avengers helicopter back there. You've got Avengers Quinjet and Helicarrier. And a couple of the bad Chitauri stuff over here, too. It's pretty awesome. You've got a few Ninjago vehicles and a few Ninjago dragons. You got, I think that's Zane's Ice Dragon right there. You got uh, Lloyd's Golden Dragon. That's the earlier version with the cool head. It's pretty awesome. You got a Lego train right here with the controller as well. It probably has the motor, which is very valuable. Um, you got the older tumbler right there going out for sale. That one's $100. Pretty good savings. You got some Ultra Agents here, including some of the rare villains as well. Like the portal guy and the zappy guy. Sorry, I'm not sure what their names are. I have to look them up. I've, Alter Agents is one of those themes that I missed, so. Very, very cool. You've got Zane's ice tank from the Lego Ninjago movie over here. You've got Black Panther, as well as a Nindroid plane. Pretty cool. You've got a Harry Potter book over here. With the full interior, very nice. You got another Ultra Agents uh, vehicle here. I think this is from the Toxic Lady. Literally the Toxic Lady. I think her name is Toxica. She's pretty awesome. Very poisonous to be around, though. You got the Coast Guard boat. You got the Creator plane. You got the large scale Harry Potter minifigure build. You got the volcano scene from the city uh, sets. It's $50 for that. It's pretty awesome. Looks like it can also explode. It can shoot a boulder out of there. It's pretty fun. Good play feature. You've got the Millennium Falcon going out for sale, $100. Got a little more Nexo Knights over here. Got this battle wagon with a huge beast pulling it. It's pretty awesome. Got a few Star Wars speeders, a Lego tank. I think that's a custom. It's pretty cool. Got uh, some Batmobile, the Joker, Lowrider. More Guardians of the Galaxy, some architecture, a city, double a helicopter. That might be creator. Maybe a city. Might be police. But yeah. Whole bunch of amazing sets on the table here that are going out for sale Friday and Saturday morning. So we won't see them on Monday, but we'll be resuming Monday's coverage right now. All right. We've got a mix of stuff here on the back table as well. So we're going to look at what we've got here. Looks like we've got a Harry Potter set here with the box. Don't see any of the figures, so that's probably going to go up for sale built. Um, you've got a Harley Quinn vehicle up here. No figures as well. Probably going to end up in the display cases. Um, we've got a box here. That, it might just be the box. Let's make sure it's not anything inside there. Oh, a few figures here and there. Actually, there's the uh, figures from the Privet Drive set, so that's pretty cool. Like you got Dobby over there, you got uh, some of the figures, the characters in that set. You got a bunch of train track below. You got a few, looks like the train front pieces. So you have some of the train pieces in here. So we'll see if that's something that is going to end up in our train bulk parts. It's pretty cool. Um, Spider-Man box someone traded in, so that'll just go in our uh, boxes. 
to be used for inventorying sets later. You've got a boat hull. You've got, oh, a couple of the Marvel and CMF. you got some Looney Tunes in there. A bunch of zombie Captain Americas, like four of them. So there's a couple figures in there. Those will go to John's desk to be sorted out. You've got, this is a pretty cool set. You've got a Monster Fighters Vampire Castle with all the gems up in the top room. So that's a pretty awesome set there. And looks like a bunch of architecture sets beneath. I see the Tower of Pisa. Um, the, you got the uh, White House, a few of the other ones in there. Pretty cool. You've got what looks like a castle gate, so another cool castle set. I think this is from the Lego movie, so um, this would have been able to transform into a, like a, a castle ship. Reminding me of next night's now that I talk about it, but that's what that is. You got the uh, War Machine mech, it's pretty awesome. You've got, uh, looks like the Creator Treehouse. Pirate ship set, pirate cave set. I think that's a Creator, just based on the color scheme alone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got, uh, ooh, the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot bust here. It's pretty nice. It's a little dusty. Needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. You've got the um, ATSD Raider here from The Mandalorian. Took me a moment to remember the name. Looks like we got some more stuff over on the other end of the table, so let's kind of walk around there. We've got a, one of the older creator house sets here. So that's pretty cool. If we can get all the pieces to it, that would be pretty fun to put out for sale. Looks like we've got another Jane Goodall set here. Looks like a lot of people are getting those in and then trading them to us. So I don't know why they wouldn't want to build it. It has some pretty cool pieces in there. Got a drag racer here. Looks like a Technic one. Got a creator set and some bulk pieces beneath them. Those will go straight to our sorting room with Will and Will. Be sure to check out their Treasures of the Sorting Room videos. Those come out twice weekly, so those are pretty funny. Um, got an at, -AT over here. <clears throat> I think this is the newer version. Let's see if there are instructions with it. Nope, those are the piano instructions. So at, -AT -AT going to be going out for sale. These can usually be uh, purchased at a pretty good value because um, they're just built. There's no figures or instructions, so... You can usually save quite a bit of money if you're looking for an at, -AT. You've got a nice piano here with the instructions. Looks like it's very nicely built. Don't see anything missing. So that will be out for sale in our built sets as well. Just because it's a little too large for us to easily inventory. So unless somebody really was requesting that and wanted to pay extra for it, we'd probably just put it out for sale as is so someone can enjoy it. Got a pretty heavily used Imperial shuttle here. Looks like it's got the pilot, though, so it's got some of the original stuff in it. I wonder if it's got the figures. Let's see. Oh, and it's got the figures, too. So all the stormtroopers ready to go out and do battle. So that one's uh, looks like it's more complete than it would seem. So very cool. You've got over here a box of Dimensions stuff. And looks like it's actually mostly just the boxes. There might be some other sets in here. Mostly Dimensions boxes, though. So, which is too bad because the figures are what's really cool about these sets. You can usually collect, like, Lord of the Rings and Scooby-Doo and Ghostbusters and stuff. So, looks like mostly just the paper products from those sets. We'll still end up using them, but, um, yeah, we love to see those figures come in, too. And looks like... Ooh! Looks like we've got some sealed sets here. We've got the Ninjago one. wonder if these are... Yep, these are sealed too. These are like the shooter game ones from Star Wars. It's basically like a knockoff version of Tank Battles, if you ask me. Definitely got to check out our various Tank Battles videos we've released on our channel as well. An empty box. I don't know what was in there. We've got some... These look like our packaging. Yeah, definitely our packaging. So... Okay, so somebody must have purchased these sets from us, built them, so they got all these really old school built Harry Potter sets, and then traded them back into us. So these will be probably uh, repackaged again, uh, make sure all the pieces are there, all the in instructions are in good shape, and they'll be put out for sale again. So you'll be able to 
Uh, these, these sets will see multiple owners and multiple uh, joyous building experiences, so that's pretty cool. We're able to basically recycle some of these awesome old sets. So We've got a couple built Ninjago vehicles over here. A Ninjago uh, bridge scene. This one is pretty cool. I think that's from the Ninjago movie, unless I'm mistaken. I think that's where it's from, but yeah. And then uh, more Ninjago. Someone was a Ninjago collector here. Very cool. All right, and that looks like about it for this table here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We sure appreciate it. If any of these amazing sets caught your eye and you want to know more about them, see if they're ready to buy, definitely get in touch with us. There's going to be a bunch of contact information in the description, like our phone number, our website. You can send us an email at info at uh, We look forward to hearing from you guys. Definitely check out our website and our YouTube channel. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later this week.